This video will demonstrate the basics of how to create maps in CodeApp with boundaries that define various regions. This is useful because one can visually compare data specific to different regions on the map. Let's explore this topic using a data set describing educational attainment in the United States. As you can see in the CodeApp document here, we have the names of the states in the table. But in order to see them on a map, we will need to add a new attribute for the state boundaries. And let's drag this attribute over to be next to state and also rename it, giving it the name boundaries. Now, to add the state boundaries to this column, click on the header, then edit formula. Then click on insert function to find the function for looking up boundaries. The function to find boundaries is a lookup function, so let's click on that category. And you can see that the third function from the top is the lookup boundary function that we want. And it also specifies the general syntax as lookup boundary followed by the boundary set, which is the list of boundaries stored in CodeApp, and then by the boundary key, which is the name of the attribute in your data set that you wish to create boundaries from. So in the case of this example, that would be the state attribute. Before creating the boundaries, though, let's click on the letter I icon to the right of the lookup boundary function. and this will show us some more information about this function. So here we can find more details about how the function works, as well as, if we scroll down, see some examples of how to use the lookup boundary function. If you scroll back up to the top, you can see here that the boundary sets that are contained in CodeApp are limited to countries around the world as well as states, counties, and some other areas in the United States. But let's click out of this info box to see the general way to insert a function. So you click on insert function, you find the function you want, and then you click on the name of the function to insert it into the formula editor. Now, we'll need to change the boundary set to specify US state boundaries. And note that as I start typing, CodeApp uh, suggests what I might want. So I'll select US state boundaries. And then we'll need to select the boundary key. So that is state here. And next, click apply. Okay, and now we can see that the boundaries for the states have appeared in the boundaries column in the table. Now, if I create a map by clicking on map, you see that the boundaries for all the states have appeared on the map. And now I can add the attribute I want to color the boundaries by. So say I'm interested in how education in years varies from state to state. I can drag and drop that attribute onto the map. And now we can see the states color-coded by education level. And so it looks like the highest level of education in years is in the upper Midwest and also some New England states. And one can actually click on different parts of the key below the map to see which states correspond to which category. So that's the highest category. That's the lowest. Also, note that one can mouse over a particular boundary area to see the exact values for that area. Now, by default, if you name an attribute boundary or boundaries, CodeApp will try to treat that as an attribute that can be used to create boundaries on a map. However, if you would like to use a different attribute name, say we rename this to borders, the boundaries have disappeared from the map. But 
we can go and specify that the attribute is a boundary by clicking on the name of the attribute in the table and then selecting Edit Attribute Properties and then in this box going to Type and selecting Boundary and then clicking Apply. And now the boundaries are back.